This chair represents me and you. This chair represents, these are so comfortable. You ever, you ever sit in these kind of chairs? Man, these are good chairs. So this chair right here represents those that are already here but need to get up. Say it with me. This chair represents those that are already here, but they need to get up. Get up. So God says, look, we've gotten too comfortable in the chair. We come to the house of God. By the way, these chairs are a whole lot more comfortable than those chairs are. But we've gotten so comfortable in the, in the, in the house of God. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. We're family. This, we're a team. I mean, thank God for, for you and for you coming and being a part of Soul Quest Church where God is moving and doing some pretty phenomenal things. But sometimes we get comfortable being in this atmosphere of this chair. Can I just ask you a question? How many of you enjoy coming to church? Raise your hand. It's my favorite day of the week. I love coming to Soul Quest Church. It's one of my favorite things to do in the world. And we come and we have a good time. We have fellowship. We have dinner parties. I mean, we get to serve. I mean, we get to eat donuts. They're free. We get, we get free t-shirts just for coming and visiting the church. I mean, I like this church. I enjoy coming. I enjoy worshiping. I enjoy Soul Quest worship. They knock it out of the park every single week. I mean, we get together at huddle time uh, an hour before the service starts and we, we get in there and we pray together and we, we, we cheer and we, we give Jesus, you know, all the stuff. And, and man, it's fun to come to, to church. I love it. And for those people out there that are not involved in Soul Quest, when they ever get here, they're going to get hooked and they're going to love it. It's a good place to be. But God doesn't want us just to come and be. He wants us to become and do. You see, there comes a time when we've got to get out of the chair of comfort, of what we know, of what we do here, and go out, the, out of the doors of this building and realize that there are 80% of people in Jackson, Tennessee alone 80% of people in Jackson and really all of West Tennessee that do not go to church any Sunday. And here we are in our holy huddle having a big time. I mean, worshiping, singing at the top of our lungs. That's why we have the music loud so you can't hear the person singing next to you. And you can't hear yourself singing because if you heard yourself singing, you may not sing as loud. I mean, I love coming to church. But God says, look, look now get, I, you, don't take from this, I don't want you to come to church. I want you to be here, but I want us to come to get regrouped so that we can leave this place and go out into our mission field because God commands it. Get up. Chair two, three, and four represent people that are not here yet but they need to come and they need to sit down and hear the gospel and let it change their lives. The second chair, the second chair represents the in but outs. What in the world does that mean, Pastor? The in but outs. Can I just remind you of a saying that's on some of your t-shirts today? The perfect place for imperfect people. The perfect place for for imperfect people. The second chair represents those that are in, in what? In the kingdom, but maybe they're out of church right now. Ideally, we should stay in church, but here's the, the truth of the matter. So many people right now in their houses this morning that I, yes, I think that many of them may be saved, but because of life and because of stuff and because of sin and because of circumstances, they've drifted away from God and drifted away from his church we want them in our church. We want them back. Come on, amen? The third chair represents the up and outs. Guys, the up and outs need Jesus just like the down and outs need Jesus. I, I, I don't care where you stand on some socioeconomic level, how much you go to church, how much somebody else goes to church, how religious somebody thinks they are. Listen, I... I 
I get tickled all the time because I see it all the time on social media where people give God praise and thank Jesus for this and, oh, Jesus is being so, but they will not enter the door of the church. Go figure. I don't get that. Man, I see it all the time. You see it too. Oh, God's been so good to me. Yeah, well, if he's been so good, why don't you go and attend the thing that Jesus died for, the church? And chair number four is the down and outs. Well, don't you think that some people are just too far gone for God? No! God can reach down because some of you know because you used to be there. Maybe you were up and out. Maybe you were, been, you were down and out. But friend, you're not out anymore. Praise God. You're in the kingdom of God because God reached down and said, listen, I can save you. I can change you. I can bring life change in your life. God saves us so you, it, listen, if, if all salvation was is so you can punch a ticket and go to heaven, then the very day, very moment you got saved, you'd go to heaven. You don't get saved just to go to heaven. You get saved to do something on this earth while you're here to make a difference in this world. Guys, we got to make a difference. One way we can do this is this week when we leave this place today, do everything we possibly can to get brother, sister, cousin, parents, children, coworkers, friends, those guys and gals you hang out with the ball at the ball fields, whoever they are, that do not, we're not telling you to invite somebody that goes to church somewhere else. But if they don't go to church and they don't have a relationship with God, Guys, I want to challenge you to do everything that you possibly can this week to get them here next Sunday under the sound of the gospel and let's allow God do what God always does. He saves lives.